Stranger Things! All right, that's better. That's my planet, people. All right, well, we're going to bring out your moderator. You may know him from Pop Goes the Culture podcast, Joey Mills! Planet Comic Con, Kansas City, Missouri, the biggest end of summer blowout bash. Make some noise for us. We have got a fantastic weekend planned. Tons of vendors, cosplayers, we've got creator guests, celebrity guests. It's a big weekend, but right now, as we take a breath, things are about to get stranger. We have joining us on the Planet Comic Con celebrity stage, America's sweethearts, you know them as Dustin and Susie, from Netflix's Stranger Things, Gaten Monterazzo and Gabrielle Pizzolo, come on down! Hey guys! Can you hear me? I think you got us, yeah. Yeah. Have a seat. I'll do it. You guys look amazing. Seriously, oh my God. great to be back here. Wow, it's bananas. Oh, yeah, buddy. Love you guys. So how this is going to work is we have a microphone right over here. Thank you for waving, doing a little dance. This is your time with these two. I mean, you got all the time in the world out there on the floor, and if you're in their lines, you're probably gonna be spending some time out there. Um, but this is your chance here to have a discussion with these two. Um, so the way it's gonna work is if you have a question, feel free to come over to this microphone as the discussion progresses. We will call on folks in the interest of health and safety. What we're going to try to do is keep the line fairly short. Um, so maybe 10 to 12 people in line. So if you look over there and you're like, I got a question and the line's backed up, you might think about maybe holding off a second until the line kind of shortens a little bit. If you've really got a question and you're bound and determined to get to it, um, yeah, go ahead. I can't stop you. Go stand in line um, because I know you guys have burning questions. And, and then they are also wiping down the microphone. So again, this is a, as much health and safety precautions as we can take, we're going to take here today. Uh, in the interest of efficiency, because we only have a little bit of time together, um, we got together backstage. There are some questions that we know you're going to ask. Um, so, as kind of a frequently asked questions uh, bit, to make this go more efficiently, um, we're going to answer some of those right now. So, I believe they were no, no, yes, yes, no, okay. no, yes, yes. Is that yeah. it correct? Was, no, it was a no. It was very specific. I, yeah. I tried to, I had notes. Um, hopefully, that <laughs> was the correct answer. Um, the no's were the spoilers on season four, by the way. So. Yeah, sorry guys. So how has it been? How have you guys found Planet Comic Con? Have you enjoyed Kansas City? Absolutely. I mean, this is my first time in Kansas City. Very glad to be here. Thank you guys. The city's been uh, treating us very well, as of right now. I mean, as much as I can, I got off a plane at like 5.30 yesterday afternoon. So uh, yeah, looking forward to the weekend. Really glad to be here. Hey guys, this is great. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, for me, this is also my first time here. Um, <laughs> Um, and I've just, I absolutely love, this is the first time that I think either of us have been back somewhere. Uh-huh, for, for at least for a convention. And yeah. it's right here in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Um, I know. And Thank you guys you. are just the best. Yeah. It's, it's so great, great to see you all. Last one we did was Rhode Island, Island. in November of 2019. A long time ago. Bananas. And that's why I'm like super nervous for no reason. This is literally just... We got this. We're, We're good. I don't know if you guys heard, but they love you, so you can't do That's anything wrong. Nice. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that, but... Well, right on. It looks like we've got a line forming, so uh, let's try to get through some of these. What is your name? Step up to the mic. There you go. Hi, I'm Peyton. Hey, Peyton. We met. We yeah. met. Uh, several times. Yeah, several times. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, I just want to say I love you both, and I'm so love excited you. to see you guys. Um, and the second thing is, is that I've been in performing since I was six years old, and so therefore I've been obsessed with like acting. Um, and I know that you both are Broadway babies, so if you both were to be in a show together, which one would it be? Oh man, now here's, we've never thought about this actually. Have we, we not? Go we for sure talked about it at some point. I don't know. 
Can you guys sing too? Oh, it's the first one. Oh, we were, my God. We were making bets. We made we were bets. bets uh, on how long it would take. First change. question. You're Technically welcome. second. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, let's add the first one. Second is pretty that's, good, though. That's actually... We thought it'd be first. Yeah, we, I know. We got, like, we got a good one in there before before the, the request. <laughs> but what do you think? Like, I don't even know. There's a lot of great ones. Um, you, you talk. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blanking completely. Me? Um... Yeah. Mm, this is tricky. I think so. Honestly, for me, I feel like what would be really fun is, like, doing something completely new. Uh-huh. And just oh, getting yeah. to like create like originating it. like originating characters. Because you have it's nothing not, to go off of. It's not yeah. yourselves. Exactly, that'd be a lot of fun. Just because like especially in theater right now. Is, I mean, right now is something because none of the theaters are open. But in its modern day, there's a lot. There's a lot of revivals. There's a lot of jukebox musicals, and so it's it's a very rare moment for unique and uh, new. Uh, forms of theater are going out there, especially into New York and stuff. So that's really cool to originate a, a, yeah. a role. Yeah, I, mean, I guess like we already have. We already got to like play roles that no one else has ever that's played true. already. So dang, now we're really we did it. We did it. Hey, <laughs> there you go. Amazing. Oh man. So here's the deal. We're only gonna sing if everybody else sings with us. You got it. Right. Is that a Thank fair you. deal? Is that okay? Yes. You got okay. it. Well you too, I'm not kidding. Yeah. When I said that back there, I'm not kidding. You have to do it with us. Okay, I will. And actually, you're going to lead us off. I am. I'm putting you on the spot. That sound good? We're going to start with turn around. Okay. I'm assuming that's what we're going to go with. Yeah. Are we? Okay. Are, do we know what song we're singing? I wonder. <laughs> Ready? You'll start and then I, we'll join okay. you. And I apologize, Nippy. <laughs> turn around. That's super loud. Sorry. Look I'm at what you see. In her face, you're not singing with me. The mirror of her dreams, make believe us oh, everywhere. Give it, you're not singing. <laughs> Written on the pages is the answer to a never ending story. You might be singing, I just can't hear you. Ah, the next one, the story. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, I'm disappointed in all of you. Yes. That was officially for the for the rest of eternity. I am indefinitely disappointed in every single one of you. How was your last trip to Kansas City? Oh, oh, oh terrible. Kansas they wouldn't sing. It's terrible. No one sang with me. Ah, uh, you know what? We all tried. No, we tried. We I all tried. tried. I love it like the minute we said it to you. Everyone's gonna sing with me. Everyone was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Did they answer your question though? Yes. Thank, thank you, you very guys much. So much. Thank, thank you. you. Forrest, thank you, Paige. Good to see you again. That is that the worst? Give it up for me. Claps in there. Yeah. <laughs> what is your name? Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. Hi. Um, so, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you both got your start on Broadway. Indeed. Um, yes. What was it like going from performing almost every night in front of a live audience to performing uh, on television on one of the biggest shows out today? I think you should go first. Okay, word. Um, so, it's a little weird. So, like, when you're younger and working in theater and on Broadway, especially under... Uh, under Equity, which is uh, the Theaters Actors Union, um, it's you have another actor who's uh, who's playing the part alongside you when you're when you're a kid. So I only did uh, four shows a week, uh, child labor laws, all that jazz. So that was pretty, that was something that was easy on my vocal cords, because like now I'm like thinking about getting into it. Now that I'm 18, I would have to like do it without an alternate, which is honestly the scariest thing I've ever had to think of. But tra transitioning. I, it was kind of seamless just because, I mean, I just finished my run with Les Mis on Broadway, and I was like, guys, I'm gonna take a break. That's what I said to my mom. I was like, I think I'm gonna take a break for a bit. I've been doing this for some time. I toured with them for a while, and I was just ready to like, just be okay with going to school. And then a month later, uh, uh, I got an audition for a little show, and, um, <laughs> and then uh, I booked it, and that was, of course, incredible. But what made it so seamless, what made it so enjoyable was the people that we were with. 
was uh, a lot of the kids that I work, that we were working with on the show had started in theater. Caleb had started in theater, and, and Sadie, who joined season two, um, she started in theater as well. And so I, I don't know why, but like they have like a lot of theater kids there, so it was great getting to relate to that with people. And uh, we were all kind of experiencing it for the first time together. You know, it was it was like it felt like a very collective, collaborative experience. And it just felt like I mean, I everyone was working very, very hard, and a lot of times it can be a, a stressful set. But what we never forget is that we're making a, a fun show, and so unless we're having fun, it's not going to be fun for people to watch it. So it was just a lighthearted set. It's. Uh, it's wonderful, and Matt and Ross, our directors, are just absolutely incredible, and they make it an incredibly uh, surreal experience, but a grounded one, absolutely. And uh, especially doing it very, very young, it felt really, really good. Uh, it was it was an easy transition, definitely for me at least. Probably a little different for you though. I can for me, I mean, I joined like right at the end of the last season, <laughs> um, but I think that one of the best things is that we all practically knew each other just from being kids together in shows and and getting to like have that reunion it was just it was already a really special show and i was a huge fan of it and i was watching it for my friends but getting to be a part of it made it that much better and getting to sing again together, hey, that was hey. pretty great oh that was fun um and also i think that the biggest difference for me is that there's a lot more technically like wiggle room in film because you get to do it so much so many different times so many different angles you get to try different things and explore and with theater you also get to explore but it's a lot more set in stone because you do the same thing every single night um but getting to like explore that especially with the people that you love and care about is just that much more special thank you thank of you of course i appreciate it elizabeth thank you elizabeth Sorry, i was just trying to remember the name Hi there. How are you? Hi. What's up? What's your name? My name is Reed. What's up, Reed? Did you have a question for us? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Shoot, sure, dude. What is your most favorite thing? Well, what's your most favorite thing about season four of Strange World Things so far? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess, well, I guess if I said that, they'd be giving away a little bit too much. But I will say, uh, my favorite thing, and I mean this in the absolute best way, is that uh, I finally finished filming. And it's like, we had been working on that show, at least uh, on mine, for a year and a half. We had started in March of 2020, and then uh, that little thing happened. I don't know if you guys remember. But, uh, it was a bit of like a pandemic, and uh, so we were home for quite some time, and, and of course nobody really knew when we were going to get back into it. And uh, eventually, like into like September, we were able to start like consistently working again, and it was off and on for sure, but it was just good to like finally wrap it up, just to know that all the work being put into it is over, and now we can just sit back and enjoy it. So I guess my favorite part has been now, really, getting to talk to people about how uh, excited they are to watch it after, after uh, I've finished, finished making it. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think with meeting everybody, it's been like, you can feel like the buzz and the energy, and everybody's like, so ready for it to be out um but just we getting to <laughs> yeah we feel the same trust me um but just getting to see how excited you guys are it's making us that much more excited to have you guys finally see it um and i, I mean i can't really say anything it's really vague i'm so sorry i can't really say we can't really say anything but we hope i mean i think that you guys are going to really love it um and yeah we're just excited for it to be finally out there. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Thank you. So nice much. to meet you. Thank you so much. Uh oh. Who's next? What's up? Come on in. What's your name? My name is Matt. Hey, Matt. Hi. What's happening? Nothing yes. much. We're in a panel, man. We're in Kansas City. That's what's happening. We are. It is awesome. My question is, as far as the never-ending story, were either of y'all already aware of the movie before the whole Stranger Things? Were you fans or anything? Personally, um, when I was like in second grade and I was a really little kid, one of my best friends had me come over like every single Friday night and that was like 
hour movie. Like, was it? Yeah, did Word? I not? No, I yeah. didn't know that was like a consistent thing. No, no, it was a consistent thing. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, and I, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty long movie. I mean, it took, it took up our time. We invested our lives into it. It's, a, it's like. A, it's a journey to get it's to like, that movie. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. There is it's laughter and thing. tears. Uh huh. Um, so I just I knew it so well already. So when I when I got to read that that was like the big thing that was going to be happening that I was we were going to get to do together, yeah. I was like, well, I already I already sing this all the, I already sang <laughs> this all the time. I, okay. I had seen the movie and I never really like registered that that's where the song was from. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Considering the name of the song. Name of the song. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just like never. I just thought like it was like some weird coincidence that like because I guess I watched that movie a ton, but only when I was pretty young. And it's the reason that I cry every time I see a horse. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was like traumatic. Oh my god! It is so upsetting. It's so much. Uh, I don't want to say too much for those who haven't seen the movie, but everyone's like, <laughs> yeah. But oh, I love love the movie. Uh, cult classic. Very weird, but I love weird movies. And uh, honestly, my favorite part of it was just how over the top dorky we got to be doing it. I remember yeah. when we when we showed up, like we had like. We like insisted, we are like, we need time to like rehearse this. Cause we had filmed our coverage separately, but on the same day. So you had sang all your part of the song in your room on the stages that day. And then the set in which we're on the hill uh, with Cerebro and stuff, actually we just set it up on a hill in the parking lot of our stages. I'm not even kidding. Like no, the stuff that like we do in this show that looks really, really great thanks to Post, we film in like, parking lots <laughs> on st on stages like literally like the tiniest little hill like in season one we would like do recess at school over there like when we were like tutoring and stuff and they're like they put like a blue screen up and they put fake grass there and they're like i, I guess it looks good and then uh and then i sang it out there like later that night because we had to wait for the sun to go down but we we insisted that we needed like a second just to like go over it in the schoolroom and like make sure we had everything down, make sure we had our harmonies right, make sure. Yeah, because we, we were we yeah, were like, we let's, were like, let's we're go all out if we're gonna if do we're it. We're gonna sing in this show and make it like if, if it's not gonna be the worst thing ever, we gotta try it. We gotta give it our all. Give them what they want. Yeah, give them what they want, and then like Matt and Ross were like, guys, you gotta tone it down, Ted. Like it's like y'all are just in science camp. Like every like we showed up and they were like with like yeah like. Harmonies, all that jazz, making a, a meal out of it. Like, God, it's great. Please, for you, if you could. <laughs> yeah, but love the movie, absolutely. Sorry to go back to your question. Sorry, Matt. That's awesome, yeah. guys. Thanks for having me. Of course. I think that's one of the things about the show that's, that makes it so special is that there are people mine and Matt's age who can connect with this as a short. A, not historical, but kind of a period piece. Like, oh yeah, we grew up with that. to that point, yeah. which it's like a period piece. It is. And then you guys are vicariously living this yeah. out. It's, it's amazing how that I can sit down with my kids and we can watch it and I can connect to it on one level and they're connecting to it on a totally different level, but we can both enjoy sure. it. The craziest thing to me is that like, I realized that like the, the length of time that took place between when the show takes place and when I was born is a shorter amount of time than when I was born up to now. Yeah. And I'm not a very old person, <laughs> so that that's kind of mind blowing to me. Is that we're getting to a point in which, like, oh, that was a while ago. Like Star Wars' 50th anniversary Thanks, is guys. like really, really close. I don't know if people know that. It's really, it's coming up quick. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Question time. Let's go to our next question. What's your name? Uh, my name is Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Hi. Emily. Okay. So my question is, did you ever take the um, advice from Steve Harrington for, uh... Oh, the hair advice? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I did in the show and we saw what came of it in season two. Oh my gosh. That was a riot. <laughs> That's the word we can use for it. Uh, I guess in life, no, not really. Cause no, it's funny, I don't usually wear my hair long at all. But the thing is that for this show, 
I've always had to grow it out. So I'm like known for having long hair, but I never like having long hair. It's hard to maintain and, and gets in my face. And I'm like, just get it off. <laughs> and so yeah, and it grows back really fast. Like I got this cut like two weeks ago when I wrapped and it's already just, just going crazy. So I just let it do its own thing, honestly. So, Me too. What, what about, do you ever take skis? <laughs> yeah. Did I ever? No, guys. That's no? gate and advice. That's, I think yeah, that's yeah. good advice to live by. I think that'd be fun if I did like a little tutorial video. That could be, you know? that would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, you're talking to Joey, right? Yes. Alright, we're I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you for your question. Not a wig, no. Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name's Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. How are you doing? Good. Um, I'm just wondering, what's your favorite musical? Ooh, your favorite oh, That's musical. tricky. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, if we're going serious, personally, oh, I love... <laughs> I love Ragtime. Oh! So cool if we're going serious. Yeah. Um, it was one of the first shows I ever did. And, yeah, but community theater. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I immediately felt attached to it, and I, I grew up like listening to it, and it just meant more and more to me as I got older. But if we're going like fun, I think you know this. I love, <laughs> I love the musical Avenue Q. Uh, simply, uh, <laughs> simply because I went to go see it right before it closed, really? and I was yeah. Word. And I was just, I was not on Broadway. I was much, much older. I, it was when it was off. Oh, Broadway. I thought you meant in the Broadway run. I was like, how? No, 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 it just really sticks out to me in my mind as like the last time I really like enjoyed myself in a theater. And I hope to go back and do that again sometime soon. Um, so yeah, what about you? Uh, um, the list goes on. Of course, lame is for the nostalgia factor of it all. It's basically what got me into performing at all. Like that was like what like that was my first big audition was um, for the national tour, and I was seven years old, and I auditioned every six months. I'm gonna burp, and I really don't want to do it in the mic. I'm like, <laughs> sorry, I'm just like waiting, and I don't want to talk and like have it like spill out. <laughs> there we go. We're good. Okay. Lame is. Uh, no, but I auditioned a lot for it, and it, 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 like it was, a, it was a big portion of like why I continued to audition was to try and do that show at some point, which I got to do it finally. So, of course, Lame is, uh, Into the Woods, big Sondheim fan, so I love Sweeney Todd. Um, Sweeney is incredible. I saw the most recent off-Broadway production that was in. Uh, in the pie, sh it was in a pie shop, like in a restaurant. Yeah, because they they do like it was like a dinner theater where they like serve pies beforehand. And if y'all know the show, <laughs> well, that doesn't we're turn out too good. In sweet, in, in Mrs. Lovett's pie shop, something's going down. Um, but, yeah, great show. Um, yeah, I, I think probably Into the Woods, just because it's it's. It's quite genius. The music itself is what really tells the story. Like you could understand what's going on if these characters came out on stage and didn't say anything and just reacted to the music that was playing, uh, going around them. And it, it, it's told. Oh, Sondheim's a genius. That's the moral of it all. Uh, but you're probably into the woods. I'm gonna say is probably my my number one. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. While we're at it, right. um, while we're at it, one of the first shows that I ever saw live on Broadway. Fun fact: Gaten was in. Uh huh. No. Priscilla. It was Priscilla. That's right. You saw right? Priscilla. Um, and yeah. I went to go see it, and it was one of my first times, like, down seeing a show, and I was just, like, I was amazed. I was like, this kid is my age on a stage doing a show. I didn't know any of this. And I, I was so excited. I got to meet you after. Yeah. Probably. I know I was, that. Yeah, I yeah. remember you telling me, oh, man. And I was right. so excited. How in the world am I just remembering this? So, I mean, it was ten years ago. It was a very long time ago. That was that was inspiration too. Word up. And then it came full circle. <laughs> and, and now we're here. And now we're here. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Hey. You just got to watch two synapses rubbing together, making connections. <laughs> <I'm excited. laughs> no, seriously. 
Yeah. Just, we're going to have to talk about this now, later. Now, now, now we're going to talk about this panel specifically, because I didn't remember meeting you. Because I'm a terrible person. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Thank you for your question. Ah. What's your name? Uh, my name's Kevin. Hi. 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 Um, I have a question. It's about Broadway. I'm also a theater kid, and I know that we all have, like, like dream roles that we've always wanted to play. What is your dream role, even if it's like even not if one I could that never possibly do it? Yeah. Word. Okay. Now I gotta make it a really good one. If it's like a miscast dream role, Witch into the Woods. I don't think. Like, yeah. Uh, so that's probably up there for me, The Witch, just because I can never could, and just because it's like probably the most iconic role. I mean, I think you could. You could. If you really wanted. Oh, to. I guess I gotta just put my mind to it. Maybe. Anything okay. is possible. We can do it. All right. Yeah. yeah. Gotta bring, bring back a revival. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess for me, yeah, well, now you reminded me of Sweeney. I love oh, Sweeney. oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Something in that. Something in that. Something it's in hard, that. It's, it really is less about dream roles than it really is just shows. I don't know what I'm yeah. talking about. Moritz and Spring Awakening is number one. Oh. That's a good easy, one. Easy. Easy. Spring Awakening. I'm obsessed. I watch, I just watched, a friend of mine just did it recently, and so I listen what? to the soundtrack all the time. All the time. Which is a shame, because the soundtrack is like, not really well made at exactly. all. Exactly. It's really not the best of Broadway soundtracks, and so it's like the best you can get, and it's really, they, they didn't do a soundtrack for the revival, so it was like... I know, uh, it sucks. I can imagine so many of you are like, what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that a good selection of you out there are like, yeah, and then like a whole big, like, like 90% of you are like... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Theater kids talking. <laughs> We're done. Thank you. Cool. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Oh, cool. cool. Word. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Hi. Sorry, a little late to the game there. <laughs> okay, so my question is. What was your like favorite and your least favorite scene to film in seasons one through three? Like, oh. in all. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> <Me> go first. <laughs> wow. Well, obviously my favorite was just us doing our thing. Doing our thing. Um, my least favorite doesn't exist. Um, and. Yeah, I, I really think that this question was made for you. <laughs> I'm gonna hand it over to you now. Uh, favorite scene, the first scene that we uh, ever did was the Dungeons and Dragons scene, the very first. It's the first scene that was ever shot on the show. Oh. I know so many people that uh, see a lot of people resonate with it. Like a lot of people told me, like, but the thing is, not even just like being able to see people's reactions, because that was, of course, the opening of the show, where it opens in the lab. And uh, you see uh, the horrified lab operator guy, the scientist working in the lab, sprinting for his life into the elevator, which is one of the coolest scenes, one of the coolest ways to open a show. And then from that badassery to transition right into a scene that just sent so many people right back to when they were 11 years old was just great to be a part of. And filming that scene, like I said, it was just fun. It was just like we had a really serious case of the giggles that day, which is not always ideal for your first day on set of a very new show. Like, there's always days where, like, some pe sometimes you just can't keep it together, whether it's a funny scene or whether, like, you're all just tired. You don't get really tired, and then everything is funny. But you know, when you get to that point where you're just delirious, and so we were there at like 11 o'clock in the morning, and so they were like, "This is gonna be a rough day." And uh, so I just remember great memories from that. But my least favorite scene, there's a scene in season two where we're climbing out of um, the tunnels that have made their way out throughout Hawkins. I don't know if everybody re remembers, but uh, we're finally making our way back out of it after we've lit the thing on fire and the, the demodogs have rushed past uh, me, and, me and Steve because they're all heading out towards the lab. Very cool scene, but it was 4 a.m. And um, I was, Way past, it was way past my bedtime, and um, it was getting towards the uh, the end of the show, so everybody was really emotional because it, w it had been such a great season, and um, uh, but like everybody was, it was really, really, really stressful that day, just because 
when you're doing high action, high intense scenes at 4 a.m., it's just not going to go great anyway. And I was just in a mood. And I just remember that, like, just to this day, I just remember how crappy I felt that day. Just because I didn't want to be up, and that's it. That's why I didn't like it at all. Nothing to do with the artist, like, nothing to do with the, like, creative input going into the scene at all. I was just tired. So, yeah, that's for my priority slide. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bella. <laughs> Hi, Bella. Hi. Um, so, not trying to diss on anybody or oh. diss on anybody. What's going, so, on? What's going on? I'm not going to say actual actors, but who was your favorite character development and who was your least favorite character? Ah, very cool. That's actually a great question. Um, favorite character development? As like someone who like watched the show? Yeah. Like, I was, I was a real fan of it, um, even before I was in it. Um, so I, I guess I really like, I really like seeing Hopper learn to like care and love for Elle after everything. Go clapping. Yes. Go David Harper. Um, and I think that it's just it's one of the many things about the show that's so great is is getting to see all these different characters learn to open up to each other, and it makes it so much fun for the audience to get to see that. Um, but personally, that was a really fun development to see happen. I'd say my least favorite, if we're being honest, not to, not to diss on anyone, my least favorite would have to be probably like the Mind Flayer because I, the dude just keeps coming back for more. It's like he never learns, you know? It's like, yeah, so that's definitely my least favorite. Um, because he's got to take a hint at some point. I mean, he keeps getting defeated. Or, yeah, he's so, got to take the hint. Got to take the hint. This, like, this dimension isn't compatible. No, <laughs> go to a different well, one. A different one, you're good. Yeah. There's like an infinite number of them. I don't get why he's so set on ours, but... Right? No. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, for me, though, favorite character development, of course. I mean, it's, it's just... I love watching Elle evolve and like get to grow as uh, a, a person in society getting to experience all the things that every kid gets to but so late in life imagine just like spending the entirety of your existence for over a decade just being a, a, a guinea pig in, some, in, in, in a horrible abusive and uh, manipulative crazy weird telekinetic environment like of course it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy and then to see her do things like go get ice cream with her friends and ride a bike and eat waffles and and just do I don't know, like kid shit like just do like just little like just fun things and getting to experience them for the first time and Millie's portrayal of getting to experience those things for the first time I think it comes across very clearly and uh, especially later on like especially at the end of three going into four and stuff it's cool to get to see how the real world is really affecting her so that's probably my favorite development of a character and I gotta say my least favorite development of a character and I say this meaning it, it should have happened this way because it was a complete representation early on that nobody is safe is when Barb was unfortunately killed. Um, because the thing is, is like there was, it was all you had from her was this sweet, loving, caring, understanding, great friend. This person deserves all the happiness in the world. And of course, that's who we're going to kill. <laughs> that's who it's gonna happen to because I of course it's heart-wrenching of course justice for Barb and a lot of people still ask me if she's coming back and Matt and Ross always say like dude she's dead, <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> because like it's a character that needed to go early on to establish the stakes you needed to establish that nobody was safe even kids even good people bad things happen to good people especially in this show all the time strap in so of course it was like it was a heartbreaking development for a character to have to go down but it was a necessity to to establish the stakes of the show thank, thank you. you i appreciate thank you. it thank you. hi hey hey Hello, what's your name jake jake, hey, jake. what's up jake. all right um, i got a question to ask to mr gayton hi all right so, in the show, um, um, 
in the show, um, does Matt and, um, who? Hoss? Ross. Hoss. Does no, Matt, Matt, Matt Hoss, Ross. Matt Hoss make you do your homework on, like, by watching, like, all the 80s shows? Oh, so, well, I guess that Matt and Ross, they, uh, they kind of, I think, like, initially, like, when the first, when, when the first season was coming out, and when the press was going out, like, a lot of the focus was on the 80s nostalgia, because that's what was going to get people to watch the show initially. A lot of people were like, of course, all the press was about the love letter to the 80s. Our cast, Winona Ryder, is starring in the show. Incredible. Um, but, like, that was the main draw. And so I think, like, one time in an interview, like, Matt or Ross was like, yeah, we gave them all, like, homework to watch these movies and stuff. And so, like, that, to this day, still resonates. But honestly, we, most of us, had already seen pretty much all of them. We were all kind of movie geeks and nerds going into it. Like, The Goonies had already been one of my favorite movies. E.T. had already been a classic. And even a lot of, like, the old, like, of course, Ghostbusters, all that jazz. But all, a lot of those shows that were inspiring to the to Stranger Things were already, like, fresh in our minds at that point. Like, even our scene in which uh, we auditioned with, um, the scene I read for Mike, Lucas, and then uh, in my final callback, I read for Dustin at some point, but the scene that we had was uh, a scene from Stand By Me. Uh, the scene in the junkyard outside the fence when he's screaming at the owner of the junkyard for talking about his dad. And it's a very rough scene. There's a lot of swearing, a lot of yelling, and it's intense. And even before that, they're like, can you watch this before going in? But it's something that I guess all of us had already, already done and continue to do. So it was less homework and more just almost honestly revisiting a part of our childhoods as well, because our parents raised us right. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, um, man. I'm Griffin. Hey, this Griffin. Is, uh, this is my sister, Brinley. Hi, Brinley. Obviously. And I was just wondering if either of you were to be cast as another character in Stranger Things, which one would you choose, and like, what kind of a spin would you put on it? Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that's a good one, huh? Whoa. Um, I personally, oh, I didn't, I didn't mention this. I also really love Robin. Word I up. I love yeah. Robin. Um, yeah. And I would probably, I could, I could never be as amazing in it as Maya oh, is, incredible. because she's incredible. Um, but I think that sh she just really resonates with me. She's really fun, um, and I would just play it like, like how I'm, I'm hanging out with my friends and going on this wild adventure. I mean, she's literally working in a mall, and all of a sudden she's like in a whole other world, yeah. and everyone's like. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> oh my gosh, well, well welcome to this. <laughs> um, and, uh, I mean, I would love to just get to do that. Oh, that'd be perfect. Because that's experiencing a bunch of new things like Elle, but being practically like an adult already and living a regular life and then seeing, oh my exactly. gosh. Exactly, it's like reverse, is, you it's know? Reverse, like, yeah. you experience all those good things and then it's like, oh no. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's a good word. That's a I, think that, I think that that would... That would be me, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pick Murray, Murray Bauman. Absolutely. Favorite character. Without favorite. a doubt in my mind. Brett Gelman is one of literally my favorite people I've ever gotten to work with. He's incredible, so smart, witty, just like, it was, it's, it's there 110% all the time. And that's not necessarily about like a new spin. If I were to ever touch anything and change it the way Brett did it, I'd be doing something wrong. Okay. Like it's just, it's perfect and so much fun. And as I get older, I'd love to play parts like that without a doubt, for sure. It's a good question. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, we do need to start to wrap this up. No, I don't want to. no. We have to. I know. The good news is the party doesn't end. Oh. Because these two will be here all day today. Yes, oh, we will. I, that's what I'm not going home. No, you have to stay. Oh, contract. Okay, you're well. obligated now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank our interpreter. I want to thank the folks in front of the yes, microphone, thank, thank the you. folks in the back. Thank you guys so much. Let's give one big round of applause for our guest, Gaten Matarazzo, Gabriel Pizzolo. Thank, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank you, guys. All right, I love you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. March on off. All right, word up. All right. Oh, I'm bad at goodbyes. Thanks for coming by, guys. We appreciate see it. You sure I can barely see you because, like, the lights are there. So, here. like, word. There you go. All right. Nice. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs>